Hello, everybody. All right, uh, today I will show you how to record in stereo in QuickTime the first time. So it's even quicker time. <laughs> All right, so let's get to it. All right, so <clears throat> what we're going to do is first get this program called Soundflower. It's a free program. It's made by people that make Mac MSP, the Cycle, Cycle 74. Yeah, my kitty's in my way. Get down there, kitty. All right, it's made by people that make Mac MSP, Cycle 74. And it's a great program if you're into sound design or just making new sounds and just like to play around and, and program synthesizers and all sorts of fun stuff. It's, uh, look into it some more if you want to. The click, uh, link is right here for download. And it's a f you can play with it for a 30-day free trial. You know, you got nothing to lose. All right, but uh, here's the download link for Soundflower itself, and it, that is free. All right, then uh, once that's downloaded, we're going to go to actually that's downloaded and, and installed. It installs into our application folder, and that is in Soundflower right here. There we go, and then right there. All you do is turn it on, and then I, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this or not, but it shows up in the menu bar, and then I'll bring it down, okay? All right, now that we got that installed, ready to go. Now we got to go to the next place we got to go to after we're, doing every, after we're done doing everything, because everybody already has uh, QuickTime. Uh, this is for Mac only as well, as far as I know. <coughs> Uh, uh, when uh, you go to your quick um, now n next we need to go to our audio MIDI setup all right that is the root folder applications utilities audio MIDI uh, audio MIDI setup okay now where that's open check it out here all right I have this set up already for mine so what we're doing now is we're going to go to this plus sign that's right yeah. here Okay, bam, create aggregate device. That's what we want to do. All right, now when we have this created, it's going to bring up all the interfaces that we have connected to it. Okay, now we want to click on uh, in this order Soundflower, then your interface, <coughs> now, uh, and then the built in audio, the built in input. All right, now. It, it, the, there's something weird that happens. It actually goes the other side of mono. If you go another, if you go in the other other way, or if you do it, don't do it that way. But um, and also, uh, I have a two channel interface with one mic pre that's going into mic one. So you would have to, I believe, you will have to f uh, have your mic put into mic one, uh, input one, for this to be able to work correctly. I believe. I'm, I don't know, but I believe so. And I don't know if it will work with a more than two, two input uh, interface. So uh, Because I don't have one myself, so I'm not able to. I just figured this out not too long ago. So, But uh, I digress. Soundflower, interface, minus M Mbox Mini, built-in input. Okay. So uh, now... In QuickTime, when you bring up the video in, well, the menus for the recording the video, whether it be a screen recording or a movie recording, where we go to do this, or even an audio recording, uh, maybe, I don't know, I only do screen recordings, and I just used a movie that you see here for in-screen in screen movies when I do uh, screen recordings, but also another function right here it will show you. Right here, okay. You click on this uh, and your screen recording. Mine, it, my little box is up here. You can't see it because it's being hidden from QuickTime recording. So, yeah. But uh, this little arrow down here. Then you click on aggregate devices, and that will record, start recording uh, the aggregate device that you just created in your audio MIDI setup, and also. In your audio MIDI setup, if you don't have a window that shows up right away, uh, you got to go to the menu bar and bring down the 
uh, a menu and choose audio setup window. And it's in the window pane, window menu pane of the audio MIDI setup toolbar. Okay. <laughs> so if you have any other, more, any more questions, don't be afraid to ask. Um, I'm a pretty smart guy. I usually sit, sit down and try to figure something out. And I'm actually supposed to be doing homework right now, like I said. Wait, I didn't say that in this one. But yeah, the reason I'm doing, I'm figuring this out is because I just got sick and tired of making videos for scoop my school and then transferring it over to stereo in GarageBand or Logic or Pro Tools, whichever which one I chose to use at the time. So, uh, yeah, you have a nice day and God bless. Peace.